Hello and welcome to the learning square. In this video tutorial, I will talk about matrices in R. All of us have seen matrices in high school mathematics. So to be able to store a matrix, we have a command called matrix in R. I could just give the elements that I want to be inside the matrix and I can specify the number of rows using n row or maybe n call for the number of columns that I want. So since I have six elements here and I'll just take three rows here. So you can see this is how my matrix looks like. So these elements are taken and they've been added like this across the rows and then the number of columns is automatically two because I have six elements here. I could also create my matrices using vectors. So suppose I have a vector here capital A and I have a capital B vector again which may be from 21 to 30. Now if I want to create a matrix out of this so maybe I'll name it C and I say R bind capital A comma capital B. Now C is created you can look at C. So you have these two ve vectors here which have been combined across the rows and my new matrix is got. You can check the class of C to verify that this is actually a matrix. I have another command called C bind which binds across the columns and I'll again combine my two vectors here. So you can see these two matrices have been combined across the columns and this is how my matrix looks like. Again the class of T is a matrix. Now to be able to do certain operations I'll just make two simple matrices. So I have A's matrix 1 to 10 and I specify number of rows equals 5. I take another matrix value from 21 to 30. This time I'll specify the number of columns as 2. So you can check A and B. They are basically 5 cross 2 matrices. Now if I want to do element by element operation of addition here, I just have to say A plus B. I can do A minus B to subtract individual elements across the rows and columns. I can do multiplication for each and every element. So effectively the individual elements are multiplied this with this, this one with this and correspondingly these values are got. I could check the equality of individual elements using A equal equal B. Individually the elements are seen for equality and their Boolean status is given out. Now if I want to do a matrix multiplication, I know that my dimensions have to match. So right now if I do this my matrix multiplication which is basically done using percentage multiplication percentage B. My dimensions are not coherent. So to be able to multiply I know number of rows in A should be equal to the number of columns in B. So I could easily just take the transpose of B. Now my number of rows would be 2 and the number of columns would be 5. So I have A is a 5 cross 2 and this is 2 cross 5. So I should be able to do a mul matrix multiplication between these two and I should have a 5 cross 5 matrix which is what I get. Now I could also see the names of rows. So row names I know that I haven't assigned any names right now and no column names. So I'll start with the column names. I want to name my columns of A. So I will assign it to a vector here with the same number of elements as the number of columns. So I will give it first and second. That's what my columns look like. So you can see the columns have been named as first and second. Now there's something called letters. If I give it in capitals, it's basically the capital letters. If I give it in small, I get the small letters. So for rows I would just say row names. I could individually give the names also but this is more convenient. So I'll give the column row names of A and since I have 5 rows I will just take letters from 1 to 5. So now if I see my A this is how it looks like. The rows have been named as A, B, C, D, E and my columns have been named as first and second. So this brings us to the end of this lecture. I will see you in the next one. Thank you.